Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we witnessed a complete shakedown of Shujin Academy, in the Special Investigations Unit as well as Sai Nijima. On full alert, things have become very different as of recently. Sai Nijima not wanting to admit that she's gone way too far in her investigation for a promotion she's far from earned. From, for instance, for using her authority to threaten Sojuro just so she could get some information on Futama's mother's research, and even claiming to Akechi she's willing to break the wall just to apprehend these so-called villainous thieves. She's been chasing around for the past couple of months, with nothing more than a theory to support her claims. So honestly, who are we truly up against? But with that being said, all will come in due time, honestly. But first things first is we're actually going to make some coffee for Sojuro, since honestly, I like doing these every now and then, so might as well start with some coffee. Oh, are you going to make some coffee? Yeah, of course, we'll brew some up. Huh, <laughs> it's pretty fun once you get started, huh? There's a lot to know and enjoy about coffee. Uh, well, whatever. Alright, I'm heading out to buy some cigarettes. You can, we'll see you later, Sojuro. <laughs> and then we'll give you a taste of it. Mm -hmm. You love the smell of good coffee. It's not bad, honestly. I don't drink hot coffee myself, though, I'll be honest. Well, the way you're drinking it makes it look delicious. Master coffee, plus two. Oh, <laughs> looks like the cheese gentleman the charm is rubbing off on you. Yeah, it does seem like that. Even though any kind of charm or anything we get really doesn't affect our character at all, but definitely, um, it is nice to know that. <laughs> looks like you're in again. How's it going? Here, I'll have sip. Okay, yeah, of course. Here you go, Sojuro. Let's see if you like it. Hmm, uh, this aroma. This is Brazilian number, uh, 218. That's a weird name. Brazilian number 218. Brazil produces the most coffee in the world. Their beans are known to be of high quality and have balanced acidity and bitter finish. As known as Santos, um, probably February 18th, is one of the most popular Brazilian coffees. Two stands for the quality, and 18 for the bean size. Oh, okay. Now that makes a little bit different of a sense, but, huh, okay then. Um, uh, not bad, it's worth a compliment. Oh, thanks, so Drew. Um, I like your coffee. I'm well, overjoyed to have a confident apprentice. Long enough to test your lead for a little longer. Okay, of course. <laughs> Well, that was nice. Oh, um, we should rest now. We have a big day tomorrow. Yeah, we do. And who even knows what's gonna come up now? That's, um, with the festival coming on the 25th now? We honestly don't even know what's gonna happen. All we know is we're, we're gonna be laying low for a little bit. But other than that, we got nothing. Um, yes, I have another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. <laughs> the rest will go as you mentioned. Hmm, okay. Still, I'm a truly amazed at your atrocious methods you come up with. Huh, okay then. The arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Good to know that. Huh, well, down to 25%. Jeez, we definitely dropped. Um, I wonder what kind of people the culprits are. Probably some idiots with a misguided sense of justice. Um, look, can you just arrest those guys already? Um, Special Investigations is on it. I'm sure they'll be caught soon. Let's see what a couple people down here are saying. Um, what about the politicians? I eh, don't think that matters. Hurry up and execute them. Um, uh, we, we were fooled. Jeez, okay. Um, what kind of people are they? I want to see what they look like. Okay, then. Huh. People are definitely not happy, that's for sure. Some guy said we need to be executed. Huh, <laughs> okay then. Um, I totally froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a suspect now. How much longer are they gonna do this? Um, we should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. Um, why did the school decide to have a festival so late anyways? I mean, changing the date just because our school's all over the news. Moving into next Tuesday only makes more work for us. Um, we won't be able to invite friends from other schools now that we're holding the festival on a weekday. And also be, it'll also be an inconvenience to anyone we already invited. And what about the post-festival party? Will there be enough people for the student sharing special? Huh, 
And it's gonna be a real weird festival with the morale so low. Who knows, maybe it'll end up being pretty good. You never know, honestly. No reason to call it bad now. Because it might end up being good, you never know. Okay, now that the school stuff is all over and done with, let's continue with our main story. So, um, what do we gotta do as the school's festival exec committee? Um, I'll need some help with the questionnaires. Um, what questionnaires? Um, the ones regarding who people, um, want to see as a guest of honor. Um, oh right, the thing they do every year. Huh, <laughs> you mean how those lame guests come to do a panel, right? Um, the festival's dates were changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Um, come to the student council room once classes are over. Uh, that's so damn boring. Um, don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Um, let's do what we can at the moment. Um, I'm making sure um, to work hard at home. Um, but you do that all the time. Um, I can look stuff up, so did you find anything, Haru? Um, about that. Um, no good, huh? Um, I'm sorry. It'll rouse suspicions if I ask too many detailed questions. Um, no worries. I'll manage on my end somehow. Um, we're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I will leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this situation. Yeah, since you live in another, or you're at another school and actually lives at the school, so yeah, he can't really help us. Since yeah, he's all the way at Kosai. If he showed up at Shujin, it would be really, really suspicious. So yeah, sorry, but but until we can get you here at the festival, then you'll be fine. But for the time being, you can't be in the school during regular hours. Ah, damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. Um, you don't need to be keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? True. Um, Goryo with Ketchy. Um, this one is Ketchy too. Hmm. Hmm. People really want to Ketchy, I guess. Um, they mostly the same over here as well. Um, everyone's so eloquent. When they can be anonymous. Um, it's like they never accepted us to begin with. Well, obviously, um, based on our hypothesis in the last one, the people weren't even voting for us. It was an algorithm voting for us this entire time to push our um, skyrocket us in a way that we were being voted when we weren't even being voted. So, yeah, most of them are robots, apparently. So, yeah, that's definitely not in our favor. I don't think they really ever were in our favor at the moment. Maybe if we do something really, really big now, maybe, but yeah, I honestly don't think it really matters in that point. It would be nice if you did some work to be taken. You can came to help us count these rights. Oh, come on, leader. Can you tell him too? Um, take this seriously. Just relax, Ryuji. I'm actually tired. Um, just relax, Ryuji. We don't need to be looking at the fan site right now. Um, are you taking this a little too lately? It's fine. I don't want to yell at him. Well, look at these. These ain't good. Hmm. Um, criminal profiling. Um, the acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. Huh? Um, and their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Ikumram was just a warm-up. Uh-huh. Huh. So now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. Apparently so. And this is so effing stupid. Damn it. Oof, that sucks. Well, now we're not even- nobody even cares about any kind of justice we did up till now. Well, that sucks. Um, we have the results. First place is Goro Kenshi. Oh, really? Um, what's Kenshi? Um, what are you supposed surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. True. Uh, seriously, not some singer and idol. Apparently so. It's because of that, his popularity gets skyrocketed. Uh, we're the ones counting the results. Can we just make them up? We don't have to get them. Um, probably have to get them. Um, people will figure that out. He won by a landslide. Um, I knew people would vote for him, but this was way more votes than I was expecting. Um, it would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. Um, I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. Um, that reminds me, 
How many hours of atomic she had doing? She seemed like she was sneaking into something on her own. She, um, has she told you anything? Um, not a word. I'm worried. Let's leave it to her. Um, yeah, not a word. You don't got any idea. It's not that I don't trust her, but it's... She's fine. You don't need to worry about her being against us or anything like that. She, she will literally not turn on us. Um, even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her invest own investigation. I hope she finds something. Yeah, hopefully she does. Whatever Futamba figures out, it will definitely help us. That's for sure. But I guess we'll find out soon. But, hey Sojiro, long time to see, bud. In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary tar suspects, Goryu Kechi has this to say. Well, even though my opinion has been um, met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicions um, deaths is unrelated to their actions. Oh, thanks, bud. Um, what? Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves, were you not? Um, this doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. Hmm. After this conference, Akechi san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... Huh. Wonder why this doesn't change. Yeah, that is weird. Huh. Well, at least he's not blaming us, though. We learned that in third person, but now we know that in first person, too. Oh, we'll take it, but... Yeah. Wonder why he's... He truly believes we're not the people. That's pretty cool, though, that he believes that we're not the culprits here. So that's actually really nice for us. Oh, I'm super stuck on my Akuma investigation. Heh, <laughs> seriously? Even you, you have its trouble with this shit. Well, what should we do? Um, let's meet up and discuss our uh, options as soon as possible. Um, tomorrow? Um, the earlier the better, right? Um, though I'm still having, um, haven't come up with anything myself. Hmm, it said two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads may produce. Um, that's a good way of thinking. Um, it's totally an naughty idea. Um, okay. Let's do everything we can right now. Um, even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges, considering how far we've become, um, or we've come, we can't be particularly about our, um, particularly about our methodology. True, I guess. Huh, what are you staring, uh, staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? Um, pretty much. That's not it. It's a secret. Um, pretty much. <laughs> we'll go just a joke answer. But it's not like saying no, honestly, it's a fair answer. Huh, you're trying to show off. Don't get cocky, kid. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. Um, no need to worry. Eh, let them come. It's nothing about me. Uh, no need to worry, Sodro. Yeah, we're fine. Huh, as long as you're not getting involved. Hmm. Well, fine. Okay, well, we'll see you later, Sodro. Hmm, well... Okay, then. That was interesting. Very, very interesting. But, hmm. Honestly, yeah, that was a little weird of him to say. But, actually, I just saw a Fumi. So, based on my research, we should be able to get an item soon from her. Apparently, going on normal hangout events, you can actually get an item with her. So, let's see if we can get that. I don't know, remember which one it is, but... As well, we need the points for Hifumi's next rank up anyways, so... Honestly, I think she's probably the person we should see. Um, the gold key to victory lies in retreating. This means at times retreating is an effective strategy in order to attack with your next move. It may be good for you to remember that as well. Hmm, okay. In addition to practice, reading books about shogi is important for winning as well. Um, I've read all my textbooks where I can gain knowledge that I have yet to discover. Oh, never mind. May I request a match? Okay. I feel like I can become closer with Hifumi thanks to the star persona Kaiwan. I don't think my bond with Hifumi will deepen just yet. Um, so what are you thinking? Do you want to hang out with Hifumi? Yeah, of course. Jin Bocho might have some old textbooks for Hifumi. Maybe I should invite her to Booktown. Oh, well, yeah, let's take her there. Oh, indeed. The place may have knowledge that I've yet to discover. Well then, let's go there right away. Okay.
Yeah, we can go there. Book Town's a pretty cool place to go to. Um, I'm looking for a book that contains analysis of a certain game shogi. I must be ready for an opponent no matter how strong, and to do that, I must study as much as I can. But look at all these books. I'm not going to be- it's not going to be easy to find. Um, leave it to me. We can take our time. Let's hope for the best. Um, we can take our time. Yeah, we can hang out as long as we need to. And we'll eventually find it, right? Um, yes, you're right. I have no intention of giving up easily. I'll do my best for you to look for it. It would make me happy if you could assist me. Yeah, of course. Um, rather than search blindly, we should study the shelves and come up with a strategy. First, let's get an idea of how books are arranged here. Is it by title or by author? Probably by author. That's usually how bookstores are. Um, let's take a good look around the store to fully understand the layouts. And it's by author and by um, type. So if it's a horror book, a horror book, and then the author attached to it. So pretty simple, but it could be completely different for different bookstores, though. For most of the ones I know about, that's how the layouts are. But yeah, it could definitely still be different. Sometimes they're by name and then um, not by genre entirely. And you just have to find the names or by... Um, what age demographic, or just stuff like that, or if they're kids' books or adult books or stuff like that. So yeah, it could definitely be different in some of the bookstores, because that's how it is when you go to an actual, like, <laughs> actual library, is it's by um, age demographic and then by author. So it could be different, and some bookstores actually use library setup, so definitely, yeah, it could be completely different, so making a strategy would actually help us. Um, I'd also like to find a book about shogi problems as well. I'll explain while we search. Um, now then, if we approach this metho methodo methodology, methodology, um, we'll find them. I appreciate your assistance. I don't know why I couldn't say that, but <laughs> yeah, that was. I guess it's just the way my um the way my speech comes out. It's mm -hmm. just some words I just can't say for some reason. Um, the clerk gave me a gift. It's quite a lovely ornament. Perhaps it would look nice in your room. Ooh, and there we go, the king piece. Oh, I'll take it. I feel like my bond with the Fumi will grow stronger soon. And I think that's actually a piece on the shogi board too, so that's pretty cool. Oh, thank you very much. I finally found what I was looking for. Okay, we'll take it. And we actually found our books too, so that works. Well, let's see here. Oh, it didn't drop again. Okay, it stopped dropping, so we actually have a 25% approval rating, so cool, we'll take it. Thanks, Akechi. He actually stopped some of the people that hated us. Even Akechi has lost it. They're, they were screwing with us. I reported this website. <laughs> Low expectations, so... Okay. Um, what is that detective think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. Let's hurry up and arrest the Phantom Thieves already. Hmm, okay. I'm curious, it seems like he knows something. I bet he found out some really juicy secrets. Huh? Who? Catchy? I don't think he's, um... Really? They think he found something? Huh, wonder why they think that. Hmm, Makoto has Nijima-san um, told you anything about the investigation? Um, most has actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Hmm. Well, she is very on high alert. She was even accusing Akechi of stealing her research. So, yeah, definitely. Definitely, she's not trusting anybody now. So, honestly, at this point, we can't really be asking Sai Nijima for any information on the investigation now. That wouldn't be a smart idea. Oh, regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for a school festival. I'm considering asking Akechi Kun. Hmm, really? I don't mind it, but... Really? That's who we're gonna end up asking? That would be kinda good. <laughs> for real? Uh, weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? Well, I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against Pavelis Network, and I can no longer rely on my sister for information. True. Um, wait, is this because of Akechi Kun's, um, police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel. That would work. 
definitely could work, but who knows. Well, bold meat. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion's coming from you, Makoto. Um, did you see his press conference yesterday? Um, one of his comments defending the Phantom Thief stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain, the Phantom Thief would be watching. Huh, really? So that's what the people were saying um, earlier, that he seems like he knows a little bit more than he actually knows. Huh, okay. Well, it's good to know. Hmm, soon. There will be so many other students of the Stubble Festival. What are the odds of success? Um, it's a gamble. And the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. Well, that would be in theme of the next palace based on what we saw. It is a giant casino, so... <laughs> taking a gamble is honestly the best course of action at this point, I think. So, yeah, definitely cool. But yeah, the reason why we know it's a casino is because during episode 1, we saw the final palace up to Sainijima's um, interrogation. So, honestly, um, yeah, we're going to be going into a casino as the next area. But yeah, pretty cool little palace though. Once we finally get in there, um, it's actually a really, really cool design for a palace. It's near the top for the like best palaces in the game, honestly. But it's... Um, We'll get to that when we get there, because I don't want to spoil how how the palace looks if I don't have to say specific details about it, because the specific details are is what really makes the palace, honestly. So, but yeah, we definitely should be making gambles at this point. We gotta make at least a shot at trying to win here if we don't want to, you know, falter and completely lose to everybody and be seen as criminals for the rest of time. Um, what are your thoughts? Should we invite Ikechi Kun? Um, should be fine. You sure about this? I'll leave it to you. Um, it should be fine, I think. Um, okay then. Um, is everyone else okay with that? Okay, yeah, of course. Um, I'm good. Whenever he says he has gotta be more reliable than, um, what I've been able to come up with. True. Hmm, it would be reassuring to gain him as an ally. Rather than simply a source of information. True. Hold on. How are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. Um, actually, I do. I've got his number. Yeah, we got his number, Ryuji. We're actually friends with him. <laughs> for real? Yeah, it's literally no problem for us to get in contact with him and actually get inf information from him because he will come here if we ask him. So, honestly, I think we're fine. Um, could you send that my way, please? Yeah, of course. Here you go, Makoto. Here's his contact info. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'll contact him right away. Okay. Well, I'll we'll just wait for Akechi to show up at the festival then. I gotta say, I'm really not big on this Akechi deal. Um, no, now's no time to be petty. Yeah, it really isn't. Um, just think of him as a source of intel, nothing more. Yeah, it would be nice as an ally though, like Ry um, Yusuke said. Um, I have a response already. Um, he says, let me think about it. Oh, okay. Well, it's good that he even answered right away. Uh, wait a second. Didn't he say he was gonna, wasn't gonna do any more stuff for the media? Well, school's not really a media, so I think it's fine. Mm, that's likely why he's so hesitant. Um, what are we gonna do if he turns us down? Um, who knows? We'll find somebody else. Um, I'll keep trying. It may be frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. Well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and then we just don't have somebody at the school festival, is all. Um, we're counting on you, Mikoto. Yeah, we are. Uh, honestly, I could probably call him and ask him to come over, but <laughs> he probably won't do it right away. But he would probably at least consider it more if we were to call him, because we're such a good connection to him at this point. We are rank 6 confidant with him, so... It's not like we don't, we aren't friends with him. He definitely thinks of us as a friend. So, and slash arrival based on we, what we said to him. But honestly, yeah, for the time being, we just gotta wait. Um, who would have thought we'd end up relying on Akechi? Yeah, who would have thought? And another box has come for us. He <laughs> got all of the um, shady commodities, honestly. But let's see here. First, let's see if there's anybody available. And if no one is, I don't think Yoshida can give you an item, so I might not go for Yoshida. 
I think I might actually go for a Jazz Club upgrade for Futaba. And because it's been pretty much the same, um, I'll be right back. And then, um, once we get to the end of the, um, Jazz Club event for Futaba with the new ability that she's gained. So, with that being said, I'll be right back with you guys, and I'll see you guys very, very shortly. Okay, and now that we're actually at the Jazz Club with her new ability, and this is actually what we get for visit number three, or with only one more visit to finish off Futama's Jazz Club events. But, support plus three activates Masukunda, Marakunda, and Madaran Rundam at the same time. Not bad at all, honestly. So, yeah, if we can get this to go off, it's basically a it debilitates on the entire map. So, basically, my Orpheus pick around that I have, um, I don't need to use debilitate as often, and I can swap right into Arsene, which could be very, very helpful. But, yeah, it's definitely nice, because this will go off normally, because normally I wouldn't need to use Orpheus, um, without, you know, in normal fights. We're using it for, um let's say, just a normal boss fight or something like that, and we prepare ourselves, then yeah, of course, it would be better to use Orpheus first, because we can use that for decreasing stats and stuff like that. But yeah, honestly, pretty cool. We'll definitely take that. But yeah, that was pretty good. And then there was actually, I think, something different. I skipped through it, but I think there was some different dialogue, so we'll read through it real quick. Um, you know how when you make instant yaki soba, the package is done in three minutes, right? Um, but what do you, do you think that the three minutes actually mean? Do you think, like, pour out the hot water after three minutes? Or is it the moment that the water is going, um, supposed to be already be gone? I want to eat them at their best. I chatted with Futama for a while, and then she's talking about Sojuro worrying, but honestly, pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, with... It's a different conversation, so I might as well bring it up that she did say something different, so... Oh, nope, we're still dropping, but only by 1% that time, but it's, it's better than, you know, dropping by 5% every single time. Good morning. Hey, Kazumi. Um, Senpai, have you been sleeping well? You look, like, kind of tired. Um, it might not be my place to ask, but are you okay? Well, I'm fine. What do you mean? Um, yeah, what do you mean? She probably knows exactly what's going on with us at the moment. She's probably wanting to hit on... Are we doing okay with the investigation going on on us? Probably. So, we can look between the lines here. She knows that we, um, we know what she's thinking about. Never mind, it's nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Tomorrow is the school festival, isn't it? Is your class finished with preparations? It feels kind of nice. We're getting with everyone to put all the things together. I hope we all have fun tomorrow. Oh, um, well, I'm gonna do some training today, so please excuse me. Okay, we'll see you later, Kazumi. But yeah, we'll definitely, hopefully, see you during the festival. Definitely would be pretty cool, honestly. Um, you sure who's, um, who we're getting as for our guests this year? Oh, you mean Kechi, right? I kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he was gonna, tr um, wasn't gonna make any more appearances, though? Why did he agree to come here? Um, it's probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't Akechi going around saying um, how evil they were before? Um, oh yeah, it proves that they're connected to our school somehow then. <laughs> hey, you're right. Maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss the panel this year. That is true, maybe he'll say something we need. <laughs> they just say whatever they want, with no thought. Um, but for now, we'll just need to endure it. At least until we can get some more intel. True. Hopefully Akechi can give us that intel on the police investigation. Because if he can help us in any sort of way, it definitely would, honestly. Okay, with the school done for 24, let's continue with our, our story. Mm, any word from Akechi? Oh, nothing. Oh, but tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? Um, if Akechi couldn't decline our offer, we won't have a guest. Um, huh? That's what you're worried about? Um, I appreciate the concern, but it will be fine. Just, we just, I just need to get Akechi Kun to agree to this somehow. Um, yep. Um, what's that bastard up to anyways? Um, he hasn't done anything since he was, he said he was gonna go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully he can give me a response by the end of the day. 
I'll let you know if we make any progress on that front. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just wait for a catchy then. Literally only one day till the school festival, though. And straight into the evening, that's surprising. Oh, hey, catchy. Long time no see. Um, welcome home. Honey, I'm home. Why are you here? Mm -mm. Um, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Let's go that one. Might as well, it's funny. Hmm, you're back awfully late. Um, how, how is business, um, has business been for you lately? Huh, take a look around. Is that, uh, Nijima lady doing well? Um, unfortunately, we haven't seen much of each other lately. Um, we had a difference of opinion. Um, what are your thoughts, Representative Shido? Oh, Shido again. We'll see what he's going up against again. Hmm, it doesn't surprise me that the people say our country is lethargic. We've let these phantom thieves run amok. Hmm, that man's voice. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been as hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused, and will henceforth search for the apt countermeasure. The uh, politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's going to do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are they in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. <laughs> Man, this is guy is admirable. And sorry to tell you this, dude, but he is far from admirable. Admirable. He'll throw a high school student under the mountain bus for his own shady little weird, um, I don't even know what that was or when we saved that girl, but we definitely saved that girl from something. When that, um, him being all drunk as he was and trying to force her into her, into his car and everything. So, yeah, he's definitely not a nice person. Let's be honest here. Hmm, rampant politi political scandals. These on the loops. As sad as it is. This is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem, and I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. Hmm, if you say so, Shido. I really don't trust you, though, after all the interactions we've been with you. So honestly, yeah, sorry bud, but you're not a good politician. I feel like I've met that man somewhere before, and he shouldn't be making promises like that if he's the complete opposite from what we've seen. Huh, what are you standing there, uh, staring off into space for? Um, you're gonna creep me out. It's nothing, don't worry about it, you're standing too. Um, it's nothing. Yeah, we're just having a headache. I'm not worried or anything, you're just blocking this door entrance. I think he is worried. He seemed like he, he worries about us sometimes, he just doesn't say it out loud. <laughs> um, the polit politician is honest, or that politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a he. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Don't you think so, boss? Eh, sorry, I don't think it. Uh, sorry, was listening. <laughs> Even Sojiro doesn't care. Oh, well, criminals. Hmm. Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. Um, don't like politicians. True nature. You on the deep side. Um, true nature. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, if these people attack others with no remorse, um, why would they make a t teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? True. If this Akuma incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, they even um, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. True. But they are innocents, are you, fanboy? Um, yeah, but they are innocents. So, what do you think about that one? <laughs> um, I knew there was something special about you, ever since the first time we met. Um, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Um, oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shijin Academy, and... Oh wait, I'm sure you already knew about that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I have decided to accept the offer. Oh, cool. Um, thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Huh, glad you liked it. Yeah, cool. Well, now we know he's going to be at the school festival. That's really good, so now we'll be able to get our intel that we needed. Hopefully it's good intel, we never know, but 
he seems like he's in favor of us. At least he believes that the Phantom Thieves are at least not killers, at least. We'll definitely take that. Well, I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Okay, we'll see you later, Ketchy. Thanks for going to the festival. That actually works perfectly for us. Huh, that kid was going on about some real complicated stuff. He's probably a fair bit smarter than you, huh? Yeah, probably. Honestly, I wouldn't doubt it. Kenshi is pretty smart. Um, um, I didn't know I had gotten a response from Kenshi Kun. He accepted the election for invitation. Um, well done. Yeah, good, Makoto. Well, thank you. The first step is done at least. Um, either way, the real issue is what we do next. Hmm, the lecture is all in the afternoon of the second day, yes. Um, wait. You come to this art school festival? He's allowed to. We heard it, overheard it from a couple students that other students from other schools can come. It's just the problem that it's during a weekday. Hmm, it's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. Um, can you afford that distraction? How's your studying going? Hmm, decently. Incidentally, will that counselor be at the festival as well? Oh, Dr. Maruki, probably. Hmm, I see. Finally, I shall witness the skills for myself. Perhaps I should prepare a gift. They say first impressions are everything. Oh, so my memory did serve me wrong then. Because I, I wasn't sure if we saw Yusuke and uh, Maruki together yet. So, so this just proves it then. I thought they already made it, but they talked about it. And then it caught me confused. Because, honestly, they did meet up because second playthrough and all. But it just caught me confused. Like... Did they meet up or did they not? It's because some things you do for, you f do forget after was we're on like episode seventy eight or it is episode seventy eight, but you definitely do forget things over the course of seventy eight different episodes. With some episodes being hour long, some are actually two hour long depending on how much I cut down. And yeah, definitely, um, yeah, definitely do forget some information, but. Yeah, that's good to know that um, I was wrong, because I didn't remember it for sure. I remembered it happening, but I don't remember it me going through it via the st and then playthrough that we've been doing. So, good to know that I was wrong, because I did say I wasn't sure in the last one. So that's good to know about. Um, I don't know. If he'll um, even be there. If anything gets confirmed, I'll drop you a line. Hmm, much obliged. Oh, you wanna come too, Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun. Oh, seriously? Oh, I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Or let's not, but I wanna say that's pretty good, because we need some time to hang around. Um, at a time like this. Um, it's the perfect chance for us to relax, though. Um, how are you? Um, how are you? Um, you sure you're okay? Seems a little soon. I am, thank you. Um, I've just dreamed about walking around my school festival with my friends. Um, I suppose if you say it like that, I can resi resign myself to enjoying our time together there as well. Um, thanks, Haru. Um, it's my pleasure. Aw, that was pretty nice. But cool, we get to hang out as friends, and honestly, I don't mind that one. And also, let's turn in our um, report card to Sojuro since we've got the exams. Um, hey, how did the exams go? Oh, they did perfect. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Then maybe you didn't need this. Oh well, take it. The Blanc Charm. Ooh, I made it myself. It's got my finest coffee beans in it. I wanted to give it to you before the exams, but, well, you still, um, have more tests. Don't end up on the finals. Okay, thanks, bud. Huh. But with that being said, with the exams being in the next, ep um, like, next day, I think that's gonna be a long event. So, with that being said, this is where we'll end off today's episode, although a little bit shorter. But the reason is, is because of the fact that the school um, festival sounds like it's going to be pretty long, and it's basically the cultural festival in the other games. So, in Persona 3, where we did the school cleanup thing after the hurricane, which was our school festival, or cultural festival, I think, if I remember correctly. And then um, in Persona 4, where it was the... Um, pageant festival thing during the cultural event, so, well, 
Well, it wasn't just the cult that, it was also the other thing as well, like the small events with um, certain characters, like um, the... I'm trying to remember certain characters, but it was like your classmates of the school. But um, yeah, the cultural event um, in Persona 4 was... I still think it was mean-spirited in, in some ways. It's better in the anime, though. I watched over what it was in the anime, and it was a lot better. And they actually took it a lot better, too. Um, I don't know what happened with the one in Persona 4 Golden, because they could have fixed it to be like the anime one. Because, um, what was it? Um, Kanji was a lot more open to doing it. And it was actually pretty funny how, how, much, how enth much enthusiasm he had into it. And, um... The characters actually didn't really care as much about being part of it. They actually took it in stride, which was a lot nicer than how um, our characters were just completely embarrassed during the events. Um, and vice versa for the girls that did the two other um, pageant events after ours. So definitely, yeah, definitely could have been better, but... Um, Honestly, yeah, I definitely recommend, um, if you want to see the pageant at its best, to watch the anime version of the pageant day for Persona 4. Definitely gotta say that. But with that being said, tomorrow's episode is going to be taking us into the cultural events for Persona 5, um, slash Royal as well, because well, they're both going to be in both games. Cultural events um, does take place in both of the games. But honestly, with that being said, um... Hopefully we can get some good intel out of Akechi, because whatever we can get will honestly help us at this point. Hopefully it's really good information and not just small, minute amount of information. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in the next one. Keep being spooky, and peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And, hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.